If you have an Android application that allows you to use the phone as a flashlight, then it has absolutely zero reason to need access to the internet. So in today's video, I want to show you a handy little privacy feature that's built directly into Graphene OS. It will allow you to block network access for any app that you currently have installed. That way you are 100% sure that it cannot be sending any of your personal data off to some server somewhere. And for anyone who does not have Graphene OS as their firmware, there's actually an ADB shell command that you can use to block an app from accessing the internet as well. So stay tuned through all of this video, and I'll be sure to talk about that toward the end. So today I'm going to be using Steam as my example application. But again, you can use this for a flashlight or any other app that you want to block network access from. You're going to want to find that application icon either on your home screen or in your app drawer and then perform a long press gesture so that we can tap on the little eye icon and dive into the app info page for that specific app. Then we're going to tap on the permissions menu and look for a permission labeled network. We then simply need to tap on that permission and then change it from allow to don't allow. And that's all there is to it. Once that has been changed, you can open up that app again and you'll notice that it no longer has access to the internet. So what about those who do not have Graphene OS? I have actually read that you can use the ADB shell command with the net policy set dash UID dash policy parameters, and that can prevent an application from accessing both the Wi-Fi and your mobile data network. You will need to figure out the UID for the application, and that won't persist through a reboot, but that is said to work without root access. And you can use it on virtually every version of Android, no matter which firmware you're using. I've even read that you can set up apps like Tasker to automate that command so that it sticks after a reboot. But I need to do some personal testing and I'll go over that in a different video. So if that's something you would like to see, don't forget to give this video a like, click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately, and subscribe to the channel too for more graphing OS tips like this.